what about um were they quite uh like religious over there did they you know no, like have a church church I mean, going people churches in every village but my um, parents were religious and no I, I don't think i don't think they were in general particularly i suppose people were more religious when maybe years ago not so much now what about yourself are you, are you? Um, Totally atheist. You're atheist? Uh, I say I'm atheist, but I probably believe in a load of old crap. <laughs> but I don't I, believe in any religion. I heard I was I heard you saying oh God and stuff like that. You was you was mentioning God quite a few times in your conversation. I wasn't trying to listen but you know, with oh everyone God. kind of talking. Yeah, but to be honest hey, there you go you, again. I just <laughs> use it yeah, no, I was trying to it's say in your it, vocabulary. To think, I, say, I just literally use it like another word actually. Okay. Are you religious? Uh, I wouldn't say so. I don't. I wouldn't say I'm religious. But then, were you I don't brought know. up religious? Um, not particularly. No. No. Not, no, not really. But then I. But then you know, like the word religious is like got such a. It's a different definition to everyone. Isn't oh it? yeah, there's so so many different things that could be. So. Yeah. So it really depends on what do you mean by religious. I'm like. <laughs> I don't really believe there is anything out there, but I really, really strongly believe that each person should be allowed to believe and uh, what they want and to sort of live the lifestyle that they want accordingly to that. Like, who's to say who's right? You know, if someone wants to believe in whatever or whatever, we can't say that they're right. So I think I the main thing is just not to hurt each other. Can, can I ask you something then? Yeah. What What would you... Okay, so if I was to ask you, yeah, what's the purpose of life? Do you know what? I have not got a clue. <laughs> and the older I get, the less of a clue I have. <laughs> when I was younger, I thought I knew it all and I wanted yeah. to be like a fashion designer and I thought I had it all sorted. And now... I'd probably say the purpose of life is to reproduce, but there's so much more to life than that. Yeah. Because that takes it right back to animal behaviour. And like, you know, we have such an intelligent culture and society and everything that you couldn't say that. I don't know, and like, it's like year on year, like... What about your own personal experience? Haven't you ever been like, like, haven't you ever done something where you were so afraid like even if you was in trouble with your parents, you were so afraid and like you knew that it didn't matter who was around you, there was no one that was gonna help or change your situation, yet you still asked for help. Like deep inside you said, oh please help me and get me out of the situation. Have you never done that before? Yeah, I've asked God for help when I've been desperate, but I don't believe in him. So naturally, you you're, that. you're asking for help, but then but you don't believe you, in him. But I suppose you do because you, you do when you're desperate, don't you? You don't want the responsibility to be on you. You want someone else to do it for you. But how do you believe in him when you're desperate and then when you're fine? Well, I don't, and I didn't, but I think you just... But who are you asking for help from? Well, I know what you mean. I do know what you mean. If, if, if it wasn't God that you was asking help from, who 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 would it be that you're turning to? I completely to? agree. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> what, about, um, what about creation? Have you got a kind of thought on that and how, how we came about and stuff? I probably sway more towards a scientific reasoning, but I still can't really so evolution. fathom yeah, why we would even come about. Like how, because we have all of this, yeah. um, everything that we see around us, but how can that have come from nothing in the first place? Exactly. What do you believe then? I believe in God and stuff. You believe in God? I believe in God and, and you know, um, uh, stuff like that, revelation and, mm. yeah. I mean, like you said, uh, how could how could this all just be by chance? You know, there's, we don't know from our own human experience uh, any, any order coming out of chaos. Mm. So if we see order, we see balance, uh, we see control, we see design, we see creation. How can there not be a designer and a creator behind it? Mm. The 
world's too beautiful and balanced. It's not, you know. Um, yeah, so it, it doesn't make sense that it just kind of came by chance. No, no, it's very strange, isn't it? But then, how could you like? Would God have made the dinosaurs then? God, God made everything. God created everything, I, I believe. Um, yeah. There, because here's the thing: we we look at the universe, yeah, and stars don't create themselves. The universe doesn't create anything. You know, we've been studying the universe for so so many years now. That's amazing, the universe. Like, that blows my mind. I don't know how you can ever get to the point where you sort of comprehend that. Because it's but, so vast. See, here's the thing. It's what we know. Like, we, we have, we've, we've discovered that the, the universe is forever expanding, yeah? But because it's expanding, at one point, it was at the singularity point. Which means it was at one one spot, yeah, mm. which um, scientists will say that's kind of like the start of creation with the Big Bang and all that, yeah. Mm. But even when you get to that singularity point, you still need someone to have created, you know, something to have created that, a higher being to have created that, because again, that's it doesn't just come out of nothing. We don't know anything that just kind of appears out of nothing. Mm. Yeah, totally. So. You know, but I heard you mention before about um, uh, black magic and stuff. <laughs> do you, so? Do you believe in black magic and stuff? I don't really know whether I do or not. Like I was sort of humouring James because he was drunk talking to my students. When I've been when I've been really low, that is what I turn to. Black magic. Yeah, like I'm obsessed with my horoscopes. Um, I don't really know whether I believe in them or not. But I'm obsessed with the idea of wanting to know how what what's going to happen, and I'm like, if things are all, if things are going all right, then I'm not. But if things are bad, like I read every horoscope I can find, but, and my whole life revolves around it. But that sounds a bit like try and get an answer. But that sounds a bit like your your relationship with God, like when you need your you kind of. You know, I only turn to in desperation, but I think yeah. that's probably my relationship with everyone because I think it's a bit my relationship with my friends as well. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'm just going to ring my boyfriend because he's just texted to see where I am. Cool. Um, about three miles up. Thanks. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, good. I was just ringing to say that I'm on my way back. Um, James paid for a taxi for me, which was nice, so I'm just in a taxi. And I'm, like, just gone past happy. So I'm not far. turn to that for guidance so to yeah speak. totally which seems probably to you like a farce because it's just someone making something up and writing it in the newspaper or whatever but, um, do you actually believe that that another human being can tell the future no i don't at or, all but or I that get if we've of... got the same if we're born in the same even if we're born on the same day or or um same month yeah that we're gonna have exactly the same experience no not at all but i think i i don't really know why i got into my horoscopes but i um i probably just like the fact that it has 
that feeling like someone knows you and gives me something to focus on with you. But it's, find them quite positive. It's, but it's always written kind of like, it's very uh, vague. Like if totally, you just, but then that's if you all take, you need, isn't it? You only need, like we were watching a TV programme, I don't know whether you were watching, it was called The Missing. It was... Oh, like, I know who was in it, yeah. Yeah. The Bad Kid Missing. Yeah, 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 exactly. Jane Lesbian, yeah. I think it was the finale last night. But right. what we sort of said after it was that actually, that like, what you thought was going to happen hadn't happened. And actually they never really said anything that you thought but they gave you just enough information for you to fill in the gaps yourself yeah, yeah. and basically that's all you've done for the whole series is go oh yeah it definitely must have been paedophiles or definitely must have been this or this that, and the other right. and in a way that's what horoscopes do you can like read it and go oh brilliant that's, that's also i what, am gonna get that job fantastic that's also you know? what the best horror movies do as well like know, they don't actually show you they don't actually show you anything it's all your mind that's doing yeah, yeah. so i mean it's it's just uh it's just playing on the sh the old human psychology isn't it yeah yeah really. and i can't and probably actually based on that i suppose if i let my imagination go wild with um horoscopes i can't watch horror movies i really like i've when i used to watch them when i was younger i had like periods like couple of months when I'd have to have my little sister sleeping in my bed with me because I couldn't sleep on my own. Oh really? Yeah, but I'm fine with that. That means you've got, a, that means you've got quite a vivid, vivid imagination then. Yeah, I suppose doing fashion, I'm quite creative. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I just can't. I can't do it. Yeah, 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 I
you had a manual that come with it mm. to tell you how to get the best out of it, how to use it but at its full capacity. That's probably one of the biggest issues I have with life. Like I love maths because if you do one add one, it yeah. makes two. Right. There's no two ways about it. Yep. If someone gives you an equation that you have to do, there's only one right answer. Exactly. You're not gonna like you're not gonna say, Oh well, that's nice that you did it that way. It's not quite right, but good yep. way, you know, it's wrong. Yeah. And what I don't like about life is that it's everyone's own decision and uh, you know there's benefits to that it sounds like I don't want to make my own decisions but like uh, there isn't a right or wrong answer so it's a continual journey and so you can't ever really sit there and like sit back in your chair and think oh it's fine I've got it now I can enjoy this because I've got it right oh, no, no, all no. the time That's, you're like I mean oh, you have God. to you have to continue to better yourself and also seek knowledge as well because knowledge is power mm -hmm. uh, you know we continuously learn in our everyday life um, with developing ourselves as human beings anyway mm. so likewise um, you know knowledge about this life or the next or whatever you may believe in or the one that, the one that created you mm. it's it's all important and relevant so what who's your God then? Um, uh, well I'm a Muslim yeah. I, I, be, I believe in God so that basic so in Islam, basically, uh, to be a Muslim is like to have a personal relationship with your Creator. That's simply, that's simply put as a, as a, you know. And obviously, we believe in all the prophets. Like you, you must know about Jesus and Moses and stuff like that. Yeah, we believe in all of them. And that Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, he came with the last revelation, which is the manual that I was talking about. No, you don't have to, but we say it out of the sign of respect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it here somewhere? I can't see out the window. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's that one just back there. Cool. Oh, nice chatting to you. Interesting conversation. Yeah, very, very nice talking to you. Yeah, and um, thanks very much.